Hey, welcome to the channel today on this uh, bright and sunny day. We have the Musketeer card challenge waiting for us as one of these special events. And since the Musketeer is a card that I use somewhat, I'll bite. You know, I'm going to play this out. Entry fee, 10 gems, I can do that. So I can win a total of 16 Musketeers, which is four requests for donations so that is <laughs> a day and a half of donations that's a big win in my book holy cow but the only thing that's good about these things is it's the draft challenge so I actually enjoy the draft part of this bad boy so we are gonna give him some super heavy P.E.K.K.A. mortar <laughs> um, well, the arrows aren't going to do anything for me, and I don't think they're going to do much for him unless I get a swarm card. So we will go ahead and we'll take, in order to take out his P.E.K.K.A., we should take the Ice Wizard. That will slow him down super, super muchly. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I don't think we have a ton of cards to take out his P.E.K.K.A. We're kind of screwed unless he gave us something really nice. So hopefully that happened. Hopefully that's the case. Um, Tommy, here we go. We're going to get this done, Tommy. Don't you worry. I'm going to start out with a nice musketeer in the back because that is the name of the game. That's the name of the challenge, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, musketeer in the back, are you going to do anything? Probably not. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and throw an ice golem down there to distract. That worked out really well. We'll put an ice wizard, and then I will wait. Oh, dang it, dude. I should have... Oh, dang it. I should have... Oh, dang it. That was bad. Horrible lightning on my part. I apologize for that, but I'm not too worried. I am not too worried at all. We'll throw another musketeer down to take out that miner, and then we'll move up on up there and wait for him to put his P.E.K.K.A. down. That barb hut should do pretty good against the P.E.K.K.A. We also have three musketeers, so this is basically a good old-fashioned four musketeer deck. So I am excited to play that and see how that goes. I love the musketeer, but oh, she took out the archers. Nice job. So we'll throw the barb hut down just to be super annoying. I absolutely hate barb huts. I hate playing against them. And I haven't played with it a whole ton myself, actually. And since he put his P.E.K.K.A. down, I'm going to try and save up enough elixir to put the three musketeers down. But I have to assume, since we have poison, he probably has to have a fireball of some sort. I'm guessing. And so that's going to be a little bit of a problem. So we'll put Ice Golem down just so that the... Flip and Pekka don't go take out our bar putt in one hit, because that's what it does. And we're doing pretty dang good. Oh shoot, the mortar's going to hit our musketeers, huh? Don't hit our musketeers. You don't want to do that. Ooh, that other musketeer on the other side is actually doing a lot of damage, because he didn't pay any attention to it. How do we have two musketeers in rotation? That doesn't make any sense to me. Does that make sense to you? Did you guys see that? That was crazy. Crazy talk. Okay, whatever. <laughs> So we're going to go, and we're going to push on this side, actually, because that side is doing pretty good on damage. And the poison spell is not going to do anything for us. We'll go ahead and lightning that uh, mortar. Just get that out of the way. That way our musketeer can get a few more shots down. And then we'll start attacking this side, since it's a little bit lower. So we'll put our bar put on that side to be super annoying on that side. And that should do pretty good for us. He's got his bowler. Um, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. We'll put Ice Golem over here, and then we'll put the Ice Wizard. It should take out... We have two in rot... That means we have two... That means we have the unwarranted five musketeer deck, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. So we will see how this five musketeer deck holds up. <laughs> we have so many musketeers on the map right now, it is not even funny. And they are just going to town. <laughs> we will, hopefully, I think we should take out that P.E.K.K.A. We're going to get another Musketeer down. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to put, I'm just going to put as many Musketeers as I can get down on this stupid thing. This is awesome. So we'll put two that way. We'll split them again. I'll keep splitting them. That way we can keep splitting the damage because we have all day. <laughs> I'll put another Musketeer down and then... We'll put an Ice Golem down just to distract whatever he's got coming our way. Dang, that bowler is getting pretty annoying, unfortunately. So we have that. Should take out that and that. Boom, boom. And then our Musketeer. Oh, dang it. He put his stinking... That was actually a good play. Nice job. He put his cannon down as a defense. Actually, we'll put Barb Hut down because I think that'll do pretty good. And then we'll put our 
97th musketeer down for this battle. <laughs> Holy crap. And then we'll put another musketeer down. And then those barbs should take out that lickety split, hopefully. And then we should be able to poison. I'm going to start poisoning. That way, maybe we can get some damage done. Holy cow, that thing took out. Come on. One more shot. There we go. No, come on. Get some more shots off. Man, we're going to have to slow that down. And then, <laughs> I guess he doesn't like our barb hut either. So we're going to put some more musketeers down. This is basically a value play for us. Musketeers galore. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and lightning that and whatever else he puts down on defense. So we'll lighten that bowler and that. And that should be the game, folks. If I just go ahead and poison like I'm supposed to. But that was a crazy deck. Uh, five musketeer deck. Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Nice job. That worked out really well. Uh, <laughs> cool so that's a win in our book so that's not too bad excellent so we got that's one win so we get some musketeers for that right after one win so yeah, we get three right where is it where is it there we go three musketeers I'll take them I'll take them my musketeer is actually pretty low level and so for the rest of my cards um, so I will definitely take that that's awesome five musketeers uh, I'm gonna take electro wizard this time and then I will take I'll take, hmm, 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 yeah, I'll take the musketeers, you know, I'll take the musketeers, and then I will take another musketeer, holy cow, uh, and so, I'm actually gonna take lightning, that way I can take out his pump whenever I want to, oof, I have a pretty heavy deck, don't I, I don't know if this is gonna be good this time, I'm sorry, that was kind of a bad pick maybe on my part, oh, but we did get goblin barrel, so that should be pretty fun, and giant oh wow so maybe what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a giant down on that side we'll attack this side pretty pretty stoutly hard not super hard not super aggressive but pretty stoutly aggressive because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put oh it's a good thing I took lightning because he would have just lightning my three musketeers so that actually worked out really well for us good job me so we'll put that down and that down and then I'm waiting for the fire spirits in case he has any type of swarm card Ooh, excellent job on that. Ooh, he has a elite barbarians, people. So we will put the fire spirits down for the elite barbs. And that should do pretty good against those. Ooh, witch. Mm, did not see that coming, guys. Did not see that coming at all. So that witch is going to kill our whole entire tower. As long as... Okay, we defended pretty well against that, I guess. Not great. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude, that's not good, guys. That is not good at all. He got a huge elixir lead on us somehow. Oh, it's because we played the three musketeers. That's what happened. So those three musketeers pretty much stoked our whole game. <laughs> but that's okay. We're going to come at him real hard with the... Ah, oh, dude, this is just a waste. If I put the giant down, he'll kill it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and lightning that. Mm. Ah, yeah, I'm going to lightning it. I don't care. I just don't know what to do right now because... Ah, I got both towers down pretty dang good, so that's not too shabby. That musketeer I'm going to kind of ignore, and then I'll put a giant out just to defend against those elite barbarians, or I'll say we take out our whole tower, and then our fire spirits will do a great job against them, and that giant is going to die, which isn't too big. It's not the end of the world, not the end of the world, and I just got to prepare for his royal giant, and then I got to somehow mount some sort of an offensive push here. Um... Let's go Musketeer in the back, and then I will go, hmm, I'm going to go Baby Dragon on that side right there, and then, then, okay, that's not bad, that's not bad, and then I should be able to Electro Wizard all that action, and then that will do pretty dang good, and then we'll put a Giant up there, just to distract for my Goblin Barrel as soon as it gets over there, and then hopefully we'll take out that Witch, come on, come on, come on, take out that tower, take it out. Just take it down, all the way, all the way. So that's lightning level, if I do say so myself. Oh, that's going to be great. That is going to be good stuff. And both of them stayed alive, so that worked out pretty well for us. So we're going to lightning. We have to lightning because I don't see any other option. Do you guys see any other option? I don't see any other option. So we have to lightning that. And then we'll get another push ready, hopefully. Hopefully another push ready. Hopefully he doesn't put his elite barbs down. Um, or his witch. His witch is so annoying. <laughs> so as soon as Giant gets over there, I'm going to put the Goblin Barrel in the back. 
The witch may... Ooh, that worked out. Ah, oh, dang it, stinking knight. That was a good, good play by him on his... Oh, dang it, that's not good. That is not good. We may have to... Oh, dear. Don't, 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 don't. We're going to have to do some crazy defense somehow. Some crazy defense. Come on, please stop. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, I don't see us coming back from this, guys. I do not see us stopping that royal giant. Maybe, maybe. Oh, dang it. Dang it. That stinking royal giant got in the flipping way. That was so close. So close. I wonder if every single draft on this thing has the three musketeers and then the musketeer and the musketeer. So everybody's getting like five musketeers like crazy. That's probably what's happening. I couldn't be the only one. Um, I'm going to take Mega Minion on this one. And then I will go ahead. Ooh, wow. Dang. Um, I'll take Princess just because that gives me some range. There's no reason to take the log except to protect my Princess. <laughs> and then I will take the Zaps just so I can reset the Inferno Dragon. I guess either one would have been okay there except for his Baby Dragon would have taken out the Skeletons a little bit quicker. And so that's why I decided to go with the Zap. That's it. That's it. So I have a pretty quick deck here. This is great. Um, I have arrows, which are going to be totally useless. Um, so I'll put Princess in the back. And then... Um, ah, dang. What is that freeze spell going to do for me? I don't know. I don't... <laughs> I pretty much have absolutely no cards. What the heck am I going to do? Oh my heck. I have absolutely no cards to play. Like, I have no cards. <laughs> I have all spells, pretty much. So I will be freezing his troops to the hilt. And then that should take that out, no problem. And then we'll log the rest of that lumberjack away. But I have no cards. No cards. So I'm going <laughs> to put a Mega Mini down for that Electro Wizard. And then, do I have any damage on his tower? No, because I have no cards, remember? <laughs> what the heck? Where's all my win condition cards? None. So I will take those out just with that, since that'll help that out. And then I guess I'll musketeer that baby dragon, but he's going to get a ton of damage first. What even hit his tower? My princess? My princess must have hit his tower. So we'll do that again. Oh, that was a horrible placement of the elixir collector. I don't know what he was thinking, but I'll take it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to freeze everything uh, as soon as... Oh, flip! Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> that was horrible. Horrible freeze on my part, people. Absolutely missed everything, and I better get that, or else I'm screwed. Absolutely screwed. There we go. Take that out, take that out. We gotta zap that. Okay, so somehow we're ahead. Well, yeah, we're still ahead. We're still ahead, guys. Don't worry. Somehow we're ahead uh, because he put the elixir collector in the front for some reason, and I'm not sure. I hope he keeps interesting dude I don't know if this guy knows what he's doing that much but I like it I do <laughs> I like it so we're gonna log that hopefully we can get that taken care of get a couple shots with that and then she's pretty much dead we'll zap him just for fun <laughs> oh crap we're screwed <laughs> just kidding we're not screwed guys quit saying that okay gosh you guys gotta have some faith in me he's gonna rocket my flipping tower away isn't he that's what he's gonna do Good. That princess will actually take out his entire tower if he lets it. He's not going to let it. I didn't think he would. But he could have. I don't know. Oh, I just wasted a log. So now he can rocket my tower. And I pretty much am way behind on that tower. So I'm going to forget about that tower because he's just going to rocket it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come in real hot right here. And actually, you know what? My princess and my musketeer should do a lot of damage to that tower there. If I didn't waste all the elixir I have in the whole world, this is a great deck, guys. I would use this every day of the week if I could. So we're going to ice spirit, and then we're going to freeze all that. Boom! <laughs> I hardly used the freeze spell this whole game, but now that I, I did, I love it. I love it. We're going to zap that. That way we can take that out. Oh, we took out my princess. Don't take that out. And he raged up my troops. Thank you very much, Lumberjack. I appreciate that. And I think with that, we should be... Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that wasn't too hard a battle. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing. Dude, that kid's so cute. I like him. All right, Lorenzo, thank you so much for letting me win that one and getting me some more musketeers. I got more musketeers coming my way, people. <laughs> that's good. All right, 
Give me some Musketeers. Five Musketeers. I'm still shocked about that Five Musketeer deck. I wonder how many of those are out there. How many of you guys have gotten the Five Musketeer thing going on? It's probably quite a few, I'm guessing. So let's see what else we get in the Musketeer Challenge. Um, Baby Dragon Wizard. I'm going to take Baby Dragon just because it's a smaller, lower elixir. And then... Bomber Tower, super annoying to deal with, but I do have the Baby Dragon, thank goodness, so I will take that, and then, this is weird, I would normally take Hog, but I'm going to take Balloon, just because I think it should do pretty well, and then I'm going to take uh, the Log to deal with the Hog, <laughs> the Log, and then I will use the Musketeer, mm, I don't know, I'll see what else I get, oh, the Knight, oh, excellent, that's perfect, it's actually a pretty dang good deck here, so we'll put Knight in the back, He's got Sparky. <laughs> Good for him. Um, we will wait patiently. And then I'm going to drop my Baby Dragon over on this side. Even though I should have probably waited for Sparky to come by. I will do that. And then I will sacrifice the Dark Goblin. Before I sacrifice my Musketeer. Oh, stayed alive even. Wow, that is insane. That is insane, all that staying alive. We'll just kill that. Lickety split, take care of that. And we're doing actually pretty well. Nice job. Well played. Well played. <laughs> nice job, me. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just do the same push. Um, knight in the back. And then hopefully at one point we can throw the balloon in there and get some damage to his tower like crazy. The Dark Goblin was awesome there. Clutch. Absolutely clutch. What do we give him? We give him Wizard. Oh, so he's going to throw out the old 1-2-3 uh, punch with the P.E.K.K.A. So what we're going to do is we're going to go double Musketeer. Uh, <laughs> forget that. <laughs> I'm going to go single Musketeer since I'm a retard. <laughs> and I put it on the other side. Uh, but it should do a pretty dang good job against that. Uh, we'll throw that down just so he doesn't take out my Dark Goblin real quick. And then we're going to have to put the Knight down just because I do not want to blow from that P.E.K.K.A. If I get a blow from that P.E.K.K.A. I'm pretty much toast. And then that hog, how'd that hog get that much damage on my tower? Dude, that thing is brutal. Holy cow, nice job, hog. That's why I play with hog rider, people. That's why I play, we're just going to arrow that real quick because I don't know what else I would do. I, w I don't want to deal with her. Um, she would take out my whole tower by herself. And then I'll just wait patiently again. I want to throw a musketeer down right here. And then... That should move up there, and then what I'm going to do is attack this side over here, because he's not going to see that coming. I'll throw the baby dragon, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a balloon in there, all sneaky-like, with a dark goblin, backing this bad boy up. Dark goblin should do a lot of damage. Oh man, he hit my balloon. Smart play. Good for him. So we'll have to uh, definitely log that back, or else we're going to get toast. Ooh, I think we're going to get toast on this side. Any he got my tower, too. That stupid Sparky. Ah, this thing's so frustrating sometimes. Gosh, dang it. That actually hurt really bad, guys. That hurt really bad. We're going to have to arrow all that away. Oh, my flip. Oh, my flip. We are pooched. Don't even think about it. Don't even think about this. We have no direct in. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe you threw that game away, guys. That was my bad. Oh, that hog rider. Always take Hog Rider. <laughs> instead of Balloon. If I would have taken the Hog Rider instead of the Balloon, I think I would have had that. We got to go one more, don't we? Man, I'm not doing great in this challenge. I've done way better than this before. I've done way worse, though, too. I'm going to be honest with you today. Um, I'm going to take Poison, because Ariel's mm, not a huge fan. I'll take the Mini P.E.K.K.A. for sure. Um, mm, mm, mm. Let's take... Mm, I'll take... Uh, yeah, I'll take Fire Spirits just because, I don't know. I don't know. I'm basically going to give him, I got to take, I got to take Lava Hound because, <laughs> I don't know why, because I don't want to give him Lava Hound Inferno Dragon. You know, that would come and bite me in the butt, right? Maybe it wouldn't. Oh, jeez. What is this? What is this, a mortar deck? All right, let's put a mortar down then. I'll see how that thing works out. Boom! That was a horrible mortar placement. You can tell I've never played with mortar before. And, whoa, that was a horrible wizard placement, though. That's your call. That's on you. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was all you. So you can say what you want about that. That was all you. Um, Mega Minion right behind the Lava Hound as soon as we get up there to take out his Inferno Dragon. And we should be pretty dang good with... Oh, let's throw a Mini P.E.K.K.A. down there, too. 
And then let's take that out, because she's super annoying. Oh, no, no. Oh, phew. I thought I was going to get pooched. Oh, that mini P.E.K.K.A. Wow. That thing is going to town. You look at that thing. Holy cow, dude. You let that thing loose in the freaking arena, and he's going to whack you. <laughs> Holy crap. We'll put another defensive mortar down. That worked out pretty well for us last time. And then we will put fire spirits down. We're going to have to put that down. Uh, we're going to have to put that down just to take out that little inferno dragon. And that did pretty dang good. I don't know how he's going to get to our tower now because we have the defensive mortar. We have the lava hounded tank. And I'm saying all this before I actually have it. <laughs> before I win. <laughs> and now watch what's going to happen. This is going to get crazy probably at the end here. So I'm going to throw another Lava Hound down on this side over here, right when we get full. Screw that. I'm going on this side again. That way he should tank for all his troops over there since he's going to launch them all on that side. I will put a Mortar down right there. That way he should take all that action out. And then, oh, did I log? I logged it and I think my log might have made the Mortar miss. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I don't know. You tell me. So, I'm going to throw... Hmm. I'll put a mini P.E.K.K.A. right here. Take out that with one blow. Take out that with one blow. <laughs> or one half blow. And then we will go right there. And I'm just going to play defense because I never do. And it always bites me in the butt. Oh, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Oh, that's actually going to be a lot of a problem. Come on. We should be able to take that... In. As long as we can get the Infernal Dragon down, we're good. We are... That... Pekka took out that Executioner, and this is post-update when the Executioner has that buff, right? That was excellent. Wow, good job, Executioner. Holy cow. So we're just going to log all that back so we don't have to deal with it. We're going to Fire Spirit, we're going to Ice Spirit, and then we're going to mm, we're gonna poison all that, because that's what we do. And then we should be able to hold that off, no problem. Six seconds left, guys, and we got this challenge in the bag. It took us a full five games, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. We started out strong with the five musketeers, so we're doing pretty good. <laughs> Three and two. I don't know if that's a great win record, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm happy with it, okay? <laughs> okay. Yeah, we won. We won. Give us those cards. What do we got? We got eight musketeers coming our way. Super jacked up about that. Let's see what we get in this chest. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. Let's see what we get in the chest. Musketeer card challenge. 310 gold. Huge. Seven. Dude, that was so lame. <laughs> that was the lamest chest ending ever. Uh, thanks so much for dropping by the channel today. If you like what you saw, please subscribe, leave some comments and likes, and you know what? Good luck.